Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, today I am going to be doing a purple look. Um, I just, I've been wanting to do a purple eye look for a while now so today I'm going to film that for you guys. As you guys can see my face is already done. I've already done everything else besides my eyes and my lips. Um, so yeah today I will be using a uh, purple eyeshadow from Makeup Forever and then um, I'll be using my Dream State palette. Um, yeah, and so we are going to get right in it, but before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Give me a thumbs up at the end of the video if you guys liked it. Um, let me know what other kind of looks you guys would like me to do for you guys. And so yeah, so let's just get right on in and let's do this. So I'm going to start out with um, some transition colors. And the first one that I'm going to do is the one from Dream State Palette, which is this one here. It's called Mermaid Boy. And, yeah, that's Mermaid Boy. Okay, so we are going to apply that right on the crease. Okay, so this is a lot better for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I apologize, sorry, I forgot to zoom you guys in. But anyways, we already did first color on this eyelid. We're going to do the other color on the eye, eye on the, on the other eyelid. So you're just going to want to apply this color just so it just matches the other side. Okay, and then for the second color that I'm going to go in with, it is Twinkle, which is this one here. It's just a light tan brown color. And I'm going to use a fluffier brush to apply this one. Uh, I'm going to be using, oh, sorry. The first brush that I used was my Sigma Blending E25. And then the next one I'm going to be using is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip into that color. And I'm going to apply that right... Um, over the other color, the other transition color. And this is just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. With no product though, but I'm blending away any hard edges just to soften it up there you go there's our first two colors now I'm gonna go into that purple color and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid and for that I'm just gonna use a one of those um, makeup brushes or the eyeshadow brushes that come in the Urban Decay palettes and it's this one here and it has a flat side on one of them so on one of the ends so that's what I'm going to use to apply that purple okay so I'm just going to apply this all over the lid Don't uh, be afraid to pack on the color on the eyelid. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this other one and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like once you have um, the purple on the eyelids. I'll show you one more time. So I did do, um, I applied the second eye off of camera, but I did also go back in and added some more. And this is just my preference just because I wanted it to be a little bit more intense. So yeah, you can see. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my blending, my taping, ugh, my taper blending um, E40 again, and this one doesn't have any product on it, but I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to go ahead and dip into those two colors that I used before just a little bit on on the brush and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to just um, blend away any edges that I that I got while I was applying this. You'll probably lose some of that purple at the very top, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. Just like that. So it's not so obvious that we're going well it's obvious that we're going from purple to you know those light orangey colors but it's not such a harsh line as you can see okay that's all i'm going to do on there and so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add some eyeliner in my false lashes and i will do this off camera and then i will come back and i will um do the bottom bottom lash so yeah i will be right back and to smoke out the bottom lash, I'm going to use my Morphe E18. And then, like I said, I'm just going to go back and grab those two colors from this Dream State palette. I'm going to apply those on my bottom lash line. And for as much as I love to smoke out my lash line, it's always so hard for me to do it. Because... I feel like I'm going to poke my eye out. And I'm just bringing it from all the way out to all the way in. Okay, so I applied um, both colors on the bottom lash line. And it's not too bad. Okay, so I am going to use that purple. And I'm going to apply that really close to my lash line. Alright, so I have applied some of that purple right along my lash line really tight in there. And I'm just going to go with no product. I'm going to go in and blend that out just a little bit or smoke it out. Some people like to smoke in real life. I like to smoke out my bottom lash line. Okay, we are almost done with the eye. So now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner a little bit. I'm going to use this color right here. And it's called Stardust. And I'm going to apply that on my inner corner. Highlight the inner corner just a little bit. I, th I think like an inner corner always makes any eye color just pop. Okay, you guys, so I am pretty much done with the eyes. All I did was add some mascara um, to my bottom lashes, and I blended my real lashes with my falsies. And so for the lips, I'm going to be using MAC Strip Down, very nude, um, as always. And then I'm going to use Lolita Number no. 2 by Kat Von D. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the lips. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. Um, so on the lips, like I said, I have Stripped Down, a Lolita 2 um, by Kat Von D. And then I went ahead and I topped it off with Fenty Beauty and Fenty... Gla or the Glass Bomb. Sorry. The Rihanna Lip Gloss. Everybody knows that one. So, yeah, this is the final look that I came up with, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's very bright but I, I'm really in love with it. So yeah, you can wear this for spring, summer. Um, yeah, I hope you guys really like it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Thank you guys, everybody who has um, subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's keep those subscriptions coming. And so I will see you guys on the next one. And I love you guys.